Hello YouTube, my name's Andy and I've been learning about hydrogen. sort of hydrogen. Um, I'm talking about hydrogen, the software, which is used for creating drumming tracks. I want to create a drumming track in hydrogen and then import it into my recording studio so that I can jam along with it. Let's have a look and see how it works, shall we? This is the main hydrogen screen. Uh, initially you get 10 patterns uh, by default which are empty and you can rename them uh, with the properties uh, file and you can move them around um, and you can copy them and here is the whole song constructed from patterns that I have created this one is pattern number one and this is pattern number three how you put the song together. Hydrogen represents time signatures in a slightly weird way. The, the size tells you how many beats there are in the bar, but the numbers along the top uh, seem to not represent that. So this would be four beats in the bar, which would be one, two, three, four. Um, but on the top it sort of displays half that, so, so in effect it's like these are four half beats. The resolution uh, is one sixteenth, so that's um, sixteenth, sixteenths of a whole beat. Effectively what we've got here is kind of four four time um, with the, these are the ands, so one, two and three and four and so we're going to go one and two, three and four. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, right. So it's a little bit counterintuitive, I suppose. A cool thing is that you can mess around with the with the instruments in in the drum kit. Now I've constructed this kit to be the same as the instruments in the rhythm editor. So these are not only the same instruments, but they're in the same order, and they're assigned to the appropriate note number, the MIDI note number. Um, Tom 4 is assigned to MIDI note 41, for example. And we've got this basic 6-8 pattern, and then there's one with a bit of a syncopated thing going on here as well. I've exported that arrangement from Hydrogen and imported it into the Rhythm Editor. A few things to note. Firstly, the tempo doesn't change to match what was in Hydrogen, so you have to set that manually. The tempo doesn't change, so I've changed it uh, to 6-8. And the um, drum kit is whatever you've got in, uh, in the Rhythm Editor. Um, let's have a, a listen and we can see how this goes. And just for a laugh, we'll change the drum kit on the fly to a bit of reggae. That's always good fun. Um, the other thing is that the the pattern that the um, import from hydrogen into the uh, rhythm editor imports the whole song into a single pattern. So that's turned out in this case with a pattern that's 11 measures uh, long. Um, and every single beat has a velocity of 101. So uh, that would be a bit of a pain to kind of go through and edit all of those so that they were um, the, you know, the right kind of velocity, uh, no matter how much easier it is to edit these patterns in hydrogen. They sound fine in hydrogen. When they get to the rhythm editor, um, you might want to, to tweak them a bit. But for the purposes of my twiddling around on the guitar, this is perfectly good. Well, there we go. Hydrogen is actually a really cool piece of software. I quite like it. Um, sorry about the sound quality of the, the recording on the Linux machine. I might have to put hydrogen on the MacBook and I think it would probably be um, much easier to interface it than to the uh, 
to the the, the recording studio. Um, but I, I like it. I think it's really good. Apart from the fact that you can't change the tempo through the song.